Welcome to this week's video where we address the question, is the 350Z a good track car? If you could start over, what would you start with? And why have you stuck with the DE? Why haven't you swapped to an HR? And the other question I get asked a lot is, why haven't I swapped over to an LS? The 350Z is a really great track car at its price point. And uh, my car was my first car and it came with a DE. So I've always just been loyal to that program. Uh, the HR is technically a better engine, but for the cost of swapping it, it would have to be a lot better. And uh, in my case, it hasn't been there. As for swapping to an LS, So why didn't I just swap it in LS? It basically comes down to cost benefit ratio. In my case, my VQ35 DE puts down as much power as an LS2 on the same dyno. And because it revs higher, it does so with a little bit more flexibility. So I had considered dropping in an LS, but for me to get any actual benefit out of it, I'd set a goal in my mind that I'd have to make about 550 wheel horsepower. And by the time you add up the cost of doing that and making it reliable, it's a huge chunk towards the cost of a car that just came with an LS to begin with. So that's what I've done with this C6 Z06. The previous owner modified it really well. It's almost everything that I would pick. Um, you could see it had the Centennial Edition interior, the carbon fiber aero, and the engine has been tweaked nicely. It's the same way I would do. I'll get more into the C6 Z06 in future videos, but uh, essentially just wanted to show off that now I've got two cars. I'm gonna keep pushing the VQ35 DE on track and I'm gonna cover uh, the LS powered, uh, LS7 powered C6 Z06 and its development as well. I'm gonna get it the way I like it and uh, both cars are gonna be great. So we'll see you next week.